Okay, folks, the thumbnail got you here, right? Listen, it's game day, so when you think about game day, we think about appetizers, right? Finger foods, all of that. So listen, I'm gonna show you guys how, I did, how easy it is and quick to make sausage balls. Pause, let's get it. Now, if you take a look at right here, look, there's not a whole lot of ingredients, right? I got five things right here. This right here is my AP. A lot of you guys be asking me, how come I don't always use this? Listen, it's got a unique flavor to it. It's not just a traditional, you know, uh, salt, pepper, garlic, onion. You gotta try this. This is great on eggs, but this is really like my go-to, right? Between this, my A and the B, I really don't have no, they all my favorites, right? But you guys go ahead and check this out. If you don't have this, you can use something traditional, you know, like a regular AP that you have, you know, in your cabinets, right? Now, let's talk about the flavor profile. This here, look, that's an Italian hot sausage. And this right here, this is, you know, everybody know about this. If you ever been to Red Lobster, you probably go there just to get these in the beginning. You know what I mean? These are their cheddar biscuits. Now listen, this got a unique flavor to it too. You know, it's nice. It's got that little buttery flavor to it. You know what I mean? And then when you mix that with the Italian sausage, that and the cheese and boom, that's where you get the flavor from. Super easy. Now, first thing we finna do is we finna go ahead and hit bake because we got a preheat, right? We're gonna go 350 and we start it, boom. Now, if you pay attention right here, look, I'm gonna be using my mixer, right? And I use this little paddle right here. I like this little mixing paddle. This right here, you know, does all of the work, right? If you don't have that, there's nothing wrong with yourself getting in there and using your hands. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my sausage, right? So let me pull this little paper off the back. All right, we just drop that in. This is one pound. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my box of my, you know, my red lobster cheddar mix. And then we're gonna add this to it. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take precaution because I just felt like it was finna snap, and we about to have cheddar mix all over the kitchen. Then we just add this whole entire bag. I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna start this, right? Don't forget, using the mixer, you wanna start small. I mean, start slow. So this is it right here. This is what I wanna see. So I wanna go ahead and run this for maybe about one minute until everything kinda like incorporated together. Okay, so you see that right there? That's what we wanna have, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in some of my cheese. Right? I do about half of that. Then I start adding the rest. You know, in here. And then I add the rest of my my cheese here. Now you guys can use whatever cheese you would like to use. You know what I mean? I'm giving you my little combination because I like that right there. Then you can see it like that. I'm finna, you know, stop it, take it down, spread it back around, and then let the mixer continue just so that I can get an even mixture of cheese and everything else. But before I do that, I'm getting ready to add some of my AP. All right, so now, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just take them out like this. Now that's up to you, the size balls you would like to make. Listen, they kind of like stick together. If we wanna make them all this size, we can. You know what I mean? Or you can make them even smaller, you know? So this right here is good. You know what I mean? So I'll just sit it here. Now I'm using this silicone mat right here, but you guys, if you got parchment paper, that works good too. But the main thing is, and I'm not compacting them so much so they be so dense, right? I just want them to all be about the same size. Now you guys can see that I got a tablespoon over here. I was gonna use this, but I kinda like, like the size right there. You see that right there? That's close enough. That right there get us into the ballpark. Now you just wanna continue these on. My oven went off, it's already preheated to the right temp. And now it's time to just finish this up so I'm not gonna bore you. Then we're gonna put these in the oven. Okay, so look, I had a little bit of overflow. I didn't think I was gonna need like a big one, you know, like a big pan or whatever. So I just got another small, you know, tray, right? This one I'm using parchment paper and this one, like you saw, I got this uh, neoprene or rubber uh, silicone mat. Now, you already know that I'm up to, you know, up to temp. Put this in here like that. What you saw is what I did was I did a little cleaning and I think I gotta do a little bit more, right? Now, close this. I'm gonna go ahead and set myself a timer for 20 or 25 minutes. I'll, I'll probably set it for like about 20 minutes and then take a look at them, right? 
Now, I want you to pay attention to these decorations that I got out right here. I know that I do this, I do this, I'm gonna be honest with you, when I watch football, like on Sundays and I sit down, whether I'm by myself, I still put this out. This is all part of my presentation and just part of the ambiance of, you know, doing, you know, game day appetizers and, you know, like little meals, right? So, I'll see you guys in about, I'll tell you what, I'll see you when they're done. Okay, folks, so look, now that these are out, I'm just gonna sit these here. Now I'll tell you, the cool thing about this is when you get yourself, you know, your little decorations, I don't know, it's something about when my presentation is right, it just make me feel great, you know what I mean? Uh, you guys see I got these teams out here. I know I'm gonna hear it all down in the uh, comment section below, but if you didn't know, you see this right here? This my this my team right here. And no, I didn't just jump on the bandwagon. Wagon, I've been with them since I was about eight years old. You know, I gotta have Kansas City, we got Dallas, and then I didn't know who to put up on the other side, so I'm gonna put that there. For all the people that be hitting me with that who that, I know my boy, he finna say something about it. We got San Francisco doing great, and because of, you know I live out here in Vegas, I got to put the Raiders out here. Hey, with that being said, look, let me just go ahead and add some more of these on here. You know what I mean? And uh, you can put two picks in them, you know, do whatever you wanna do. You guys let me know what would you do, you know, to like decorate or do whatever you're gonna do for, you know, your appetizer party or your football party. All right, look, nothing left to do, but just go ahead and take one of these. Now I got some cheese right here, right? You guys can dip it in whatever you want to. Uh, I kind of like more like the uh, cheese flavor, you know what I mean? That profile on there does good, so I'm gonna go ahead and dunk it. Ooh, you see that right there? Cheers, y'all. Gotta love it, if I can get a little bit crunchy on the outside. Still moist, soft. And then if you like, you know, Italian sauces, you get a lot of flavor from that. Don't forget, I seasoned it a little bit, and then we went with them uh, red lobster cheddar biscuits. There's a whole lot of flavor going on right now. Now check this out. These you can make ahead of time, right? Just get them, put them in your refrigerator, you know, put some saran wrap over the top of them and let them sit up, right? You want to start these right at the end of the first quarter so you can have some halftime, you know, some appetizers, right? And they best serve while they hot, folks. You know what I mean? So with that being said, let me know down in the comment section below what else would you put in there? I can hear it right now. Some of y'all gonna say, oh, I'd put some veggies in there. I do the Holy Trinity. You can do whatever you want to do. But if you want a great tasting, you know, sausage meatball, this is it right here. Now, with that being said, check this out. If you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and tell the rest of the world out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what? This time I'm gonna say this before I say peace. Hashtag, go Dolphins. Peace.